The internet and video technologies are expanding at an astounding rate. When it comes to child abuse and pornography, Europe's laws have struggled to keep up. But new EU legislation means that offenders are now being watched more closely than ever. This is just some of the material seized during Operation Icarus, a police raid in 22 European countries in recent months that resulted in the arrest of more than 100 people. They're suspected of using hard-to-detect computer file-sharing systems to distribute videos of children being sexually abused. Police say the images are among the worst imaginable. Operation Icarus came just as the European Parliament adopted new laws to crack down on child abusers and child pornography on the Internet. They're aimed at putting greater pressure on offenders. Whatever they do and however much they try and conceal their behaviour, um, we will find them and they will be prosecuted uh, because we will not accept this sort of thing. It is very disruptive in society and I think that we have to make sure that we do not see the new technologies which exist now and which didn't exist quite so much even 10 years ago, that these new technologies are not used in a way which can result in the abuse of children. It's exactly because children remain vulnerable to new technologies like the internet that the European Union decided in March 2010 to update its child abuse and exploitation laws. Some 3,000 suspected child pornography websites operate in Europe, and police believe about 200 fresh images are uploaded every day. The rules oblige EU countries to restrict access to these sites and to try to shut them down. New crimes rarely covered by national legislation are now taken into account. One is grooming, the act of befriending children in places like online chat rooms with the intention of abusing or exploiting them. The concept of sexual tourism is also covered and nations must ban travel arrangements made for the purposes of abusing children. We have to learn a bit to work with new media and to be aware that uh, bad things can not only happen in real life but can at least be prepared in the internet and children should talk about this with their friends, with parents and other persons they trust. The new measures also set out minimum penalties for 20 child abuse offences, making it easier for police to track down perpetrators who hide in another EU nation. Jail terms of between 1 and 10 years would be mandatory in all 27 countries. The maximum term would be reserved for someone who forces a child into prostitution. Producers of child pornography face three years in prison. Harsher penalties are reserved for suspects in position of trust or authority. Behind the scenes, police continue their watch with new powers to act against child abusers. To ensure more successes like Operation Icarus, the European Commission is helping develop even better tools to detect and remove child pornography. Its progress report in four years' time will determine just how effective these new European laws are.